Okay, so this is going to be the last video I make about the 2020 Shimano Metanium until mine actually comes in from Japan. So let's take a look at some video footage taken from the recent Yokohama fishing show first. Now the one thing I noticed right off the bat is that the line guide is positioned closer to the spool than the current model. Now I actually held my current metanium at similar angles and I couldn't even see the line guide on it. But the line guide on the new model is clearly visible. Now I know it's disappointing, but keep these things in mind before you write this reel off. Now first of all, the reel is smaller and shorter, but the line guide itself has grown in size and it looks like the same one used in the Antares. Now also the spool has been narrowed, so that would mitigate some of that spool to line guide loss of distance. And last but not least, the Antares A suffered the same loss of spool to line guide length, yet that reel is a beastly casting machine. So now I'm going to let you guys check out this casting and pitching footage from our favorite Shimano Jackal promotional staffer Takuma Hata.
Okay, so after looking at that casting footage, did anyone think that the casting distance didn't seem that long for the lure that he was throwing? Now, I believe that's the same lure that he used to cast over 100 yards with the SLX DC in the previous video. And it kind of makes you wonder why he didn't take the metanium to the casting field to do measurements on that. Or maybe he did and they just didn't want to show us the results. Now, either way, I'm not going to pass final judgment until I actually get mine and cast it around. Now, one thing to note is that the new metanium is listed to have the same line capacity as the current metanium and the Antares A, which is a 70 capacity in Shimano speak. And I had mentioned before that the Antares A needed a deeper spool option because of the casting distance that reel can achieve. But apparently the guys at Shimano thought that the metanium needed an even shallower spool as they've already listed a shallower 30 size spool option on their website. And that absolutely makes zero sense to me and it's definitely not an option that I'm going to be looking to get. So anyways, this casting footage has given me mixed feelings about the reel, but if it ends up casting at least as good as the current model, I'll definitely be okay with that because it would have been extremely difficult to improve on the current Metanium MGL as far as performance. But considering that it's going to be smaller, more rigid, and smoother with the inclusion of the core solid frame and the brass micro gears, it should be a definite step up in refinement. So just in case you didn't know, Taco Warehouse has already listed these reels on their website with an expected arrival date of mid-February for the right hand models and I believe April for the left hands. Now I've got one reserved for my usual JDM tackle vendor, but uh, who knows the exact date it will come out. So until then, we're just going to have to wait. Alright guys, thanks a lot.